Congressman Eric, Eric Swalwell is a Democrat from California. He's been pushing this Russia story from the very start, and he joins us now. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Good evening, so, Tucker, from your studio in Washington. So I'm glad to see you there. Yeah. We're supposed to be shocked by this Comey statement that the president asked him on a couple of occasions to tell the public what he'd already told the president himself and members of Congress, that the president was not the subject of an FBI investigation person. In other words, he pushed Director Comey to tell the truth. Why is that a scandal exactly? That, that's not the scandal here. What is troubling and what hopefully will be probed further when D Director Comey testifies tomorrow is why did he demand loyalty from somebody who he was going to presumably keep on as FBI director and tie that to his job? Why did he ask that the investigation of his friend Michael Flynn go away? And why was he so obsessive about the Russia investigation that he wanted the cloud cleared? Now, this is America. <laughs> no, director Comey will have let's, to answer let's, those let's questions take, Let's take your in questions one at a time. If, if, hold on, if, if we could. So to answer the first question, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the answer, why you would say something like that. And we're going to talk to Corey Lewandowski for a minute who's close to the president. I'm going to ask him that. I think it's weird. As to why he was obsessed by the Russia investigation, maybe because people like you were alleging that he committed treason against the United States, and he thinks he didn't, and there's no evidence that he did, yeah. so maybe that bothers him. Does that make sense? And, and I've never alleged that. What I have stated well, and what, what the FBI suggesting. has stated is that there is an investigation into people on his team as to whether they had personal, financial, or political relationships with Russia as Russia was attacking our democracy. There's, we haven't concluded that yet, and we just want the president to get out of the way of the honest investigations that have to take place at the FBI and on the House Intelligence Committee. That's not what you want. You want to paralyze the president and the government by insinuating that he's a Russian agent, as you know. But let's get to the legal now, question. Uh, Tucker, the what's truth the is, under, what's what the I want is us to be able to this do is... our work, and he has paralyzed no, this town no, from doing no, that, you don't. from the no, chaos no, you he's don't. caused. You, you, you don't I want do. anyone to do any work until Trump leaves. And, you, and let's just stop being disingenuous. But let's get to the legal question, which is, what's the underlying crime? If this is Watergate, what's the crime? I didn't call it Watergate. Okay. Well, your colleagues are calling it Watergate en masse. Many of them, not just like the random ones, not just Maxine Waters, but lots of them are comparing it to Watergate. And you're suggesting the implication by all of this is there's a crime. What's the crime? I haven't suggested that at all, Tucker. I think you should have those colleagues on. What I am suggesting is our country was attacked. We should hold our democracy sacred, and we should understand whether any U.S. persons were involved in that attack. On the House Intelligence so, Committee, what I hope we can yeah, do wait, wait, hold on. is so to is make that the suggestion? So the suggestion again. is that... That, that Trump somehow was connected to this so-called attack on the United States or its democracy. I mean, democracy is an abstract, you can't attack democracy, it's not a thing, but whatever. But you're saying, you're implying that Trump was involved in Russian efforts to influence the outcome. That's what you're saying? No, what the FBI director told Congress on March 20 was that the Trump campaign was being investigated as to whether they were working with Russia as Russia was interfering in our election. And we should be able to proceed without the president disrupting as he has onto that investigation. So here's here, the, the very essence of this, the essence of your claim is that Russia hacked our election, democracy, country, traditions, whatever. But that they hacked a DNC computer, a, a network. Now that network was never investigated by the FBI because the Clinton campaign wouldn't allow it. And so they hired their own group of investigators to take a look at it. Why is that sufficient to base an entire investigation slash scandal on? How do we know? Why didn't the FBI ever look at that computer system? I don't understand. Yeah, it, Tucker, it was actually a multifaceted attack. It included social media trolls, the uh, use of no, fake that, news and disseminating it that's through ridiculous. Russia that's, Today. No, no, hold on. Come on. That's ridiculous. Don't insult our viewers. Look, the, the well, don't insult of it our intelligence agencies who have said that that's there's, what happened. There's no evidence that there was the trolls moved a single vote. Nobody read that crap. There was a study by, there was a big study on who read that. Nobody did. But emails were taken from the DNC servers. And that's really the crime here, to the extent there is one. Why did the FBI never actually investigate those servers itself? I don't understand. Yeah. Again, Tucker, you'll, you'll have to invite the FBI uh, here. Again, on the House Intelligence Committee, we're not you? conducting a, a criminal probe. We want to tell the American people how we can be more what aware next election. We want to make reforms in our election system so that they are not penetrated by Russia or other countries who have similar capabilities. We'll let the what, FBI what, what do reforms, their work. What, what reforms are you talking about? So you're saying that people read things on the internet you didn't want them to read. Would you make it illegal to read things on the internet you don't approve of? Like, what would be the reform exactly that would stop the bots you're talking about or the fake news you're talking about? What reforms are you suggesting? 
Well, it would be so the American people understand that social media trolls are out there, that Russia Today is not an honest broadcasting company. It's actually a tool of Russia's intelligence services. That would you ban emails, it? Would you, you, you're going to ban cable nets? You don't a, agree with it? It's that? a free country. People should just be more aware so that when they go to the ballot box, it's still a free and fair election. So, but, oh, but I'm missing it. You said we need reforms to change. Yeah the way people approach their news. What, you're a member of Congress, yeah, how, w would, would you ban Russia today? Would you put a warning label on it? I mean, what exactly specifically yeah. are you talking about since you're Re a lawmaker? Reforms and awareness. And the reforms, I think, would be to improve the structural integrity of the ballot box. So making sure that counties and states have access to federal resources so they can defend against any attacks. Because, Tucker, you're right. There's no evidence that votes were changed. That would be a very dire uh, situation if that could yeah. occur. But we want to make sure that... Yeah, a big deal. Yeah. But we know that Russia did go into voting systems, and we don't want them to go any farther in the next election or any other country. Well, that's entirely, that's entirely legitimate. Of course. I mean, never wants to see the integrity of the system preserved and want to make sure that only voters who are allowed to vote vote. That's why people would push ID laws, and you fight against them for reasons that aren't clear. But really quickly, is there anything you would do to stop the proliferation of this terrifying fake news you guys are always talking about? What would you do about that? We just want America to be more aware so that Russia or other countries aren't able to pull this off again. This is a mess, Tucker, and it has prevented us from doing the work for the American people that we really should be here doing. But they didn't pull off anything. <laughs> and by the way, when you can figure out what exactly they pulled off and like, be super specific about it, please come back anytime. I'll be quiet I love as you coming explain. back, Tucker. <laughs> thank you, Congressman. Of and course, congratulations my on your new baby, by the way. Oh, thank you.